Hey, good morning. It is July 11th, about 8.45 in the morning on Saturday. And I am at the trailhead of Tanahutu Creek in Rocky Mountain National Park. So I'll show you this little map they have up here on the wall and uh, give you a little bit of a game plan for today. Uh, about 10 miles to travel. I'm pretty heavy pack. <laughs> All right, this will be a good one, though. Tanahutu Creek. We have a little map here. You are here. So what I'm going to be doing today is driving up the Tanahutu Creek Trail up to Big Meadow, which should be very pretty. And there I'll turn east, continuing along the Tanahutu Creek Trail, and past where this has. So... Uh, these waterfalls here are, I believe, 8.8 .8 miles according to a sign behind me. So I have probably a little over 10 miles to go. We're right at 10 to my campsite. All right. Off on the trail we go. This is Tanahutu Creek, which I'm going to spend probably the next four and a half to five miles kind of just walking alongside it here. And, uh, if you can hear the way I'm breathing, I have not gone very far, but uh, I think the starting elevation was about 8,500 feet. So Mississippi boy, I'm getting used to it. But uh, take a minute. <laughs> I'm only two miles in, but uh, there's a moose. You can see him there with a the little baby moose in the meadow. First moose of the trip. Very pretty. Beautiful meadow too. Hey bud, I'm just passing through. Don't mind me at all. That's a little closer than I want to be to them, to be honest with you. But uh, they're minding their business. I'm going to mind mine. <laughs> that was really cool, though. Oh, these things are huge. And that was a little lady. I'm hoping uh, maybe we'll get to see a big old bull elk at some point. Not elk, moose. Bull moose. Not that close, though. I don't want to get that close to a bull moose. <laughs> That's a beautiful day. First real view of the higher peaks. Tomorrow there'll be a lot of that. But, um... It's cool to see. I think this is the start of Big Meadow. It's gonna go for a little ways. We'll walk right alongside it. It's incredible. Well, this behind me is Big Meadow, and it's big, <laughs> and it's beautiful. Um, goes on for a ways, even more past the trees out there. Pretty awesome. Wow, I've, uh, I've been hauling. I'm over five miles. I've only been on the trail maybe two hours not even quite but uh just stumbled across my first intersection and uh i was a little surprised that i'd already gotten here so that continues the continental divide trail which is where you see the cd there it actually the trail i'm going to be on 
it's kind of a spur of the Continental Divide that actually crosses the Continental Divide. But um, I'll be heading down this path here towards Flat Top Mountain, but I'm not gonna make it that far today. That's nine miles away. Um, I'm guessing my campsite's probably four and a half to five miles left. So I probably need to slow down. I'm gonna take a break, drink some water, eat some candy, and um, be ready to go. All right, well, those first uh, seven miles, I was kind of thinking to myself, man, I'm pulling and going. And where's the climbs at? I'm good. Whew. And suddenly it just changed. <laughs> I don't know if you can see behind me. Oh well, yeah, it's a little steeper than it looks actually. So, I only have a few more miles left to my campsite, but don't make me work for it. That's okay. This is Granite Falls, eight miles in. It's beautiful. nice. Wash my face off. It's sweat. Forehead's getting big. <laughs> well, uh, I'll hang out here for a little bit longer and then uh, keep chugging. About two miles away from Renegade Campsite. So, uh, no rush at all. It's always not even noon yet. So, doing good. I haven't even gotten up into the mountains yet. That'll be mainly tomorrow, but it's just one beautiful thing after another. Yeah. I'm not far past the falls. You can probably still hear them in the distance, but then just come across another one of these big fields. This one's kind of boxed in pretty well. It's kind of... Hmm. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I've handled these miles today really well and uh, not very far anymore. So uh, I'll talk more about what we did today on the map. Ooh, little crossing. And what the plan is tomorrow where we actually get up on the Continental Divide with views everywhere. Okay, I've made it to my campsite. Um, renegade, renegade, renegade. <laughs> I, 
obviously had to do that. Um, 10.2 miles from the trailhead. Seven of those miles were easy breezy. The past three miles have been a um, bit of a grind. And obviously as we got to afternoon, it became very hot. But uh, I made it. So um, I'm not even going to fool with setting the tent up right now. I see there's two trees that look perfect for a hammock over there. They have a bunch of shade on them right now. And I'm about to string my hammock up and just rest a little while. <sighs> it's a good day though. Hey, so uh, this is where I'm gonna choose to eat dinner tonight. Yeah. This is my big old bear keg that's weighing down my bag. This is bear and lion country. So keep everything stored in one of these bear kegs and also don't want to eat close to where I'm actually going to be sleeping. So it's a pretty spot though. And, uh, for dinner tonight. I have my stove, I have my food, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, boil some water, pour it in here, and wait 20 minutes. Jeez, 20 minutes. And then, uh, dinner. Okay, well, I've eaten dinner. Um, it wasn't very good. <laughs> and I've stored away that big bear keg that I'm having to carry out here in the Rocky Mountains away from my campsite a good ways. Um, kind of lodged it under a tree so that if a bear does come to it, which I don't think is going to happen, um, they're going to have a hard time getting to it anyway. But uh, you don't want to lose that. It's got all my food and stuff in it. Um, now, before I close out night one, day one, and get ready for the night, I'm going to show you this. Little creamy stuff. Often, we'll close out on a pretty nasty subject here. There's a thing called baboon butt. <laughs> and it's exactly as you can picture red ass, chapped ass. Well, this in this little baggie is zinc oxide. So it's a preventative and a treatment. So, yes, I'm feeling a little bit right now. Not bad. But uh, I'm about to go apply some of this and then hang around and uh, go to bed early. But I'm gonna do this in my tent because I don't even want the trees to see <laughs> me applying this to the um, affected area. <laughs> so uh, good night and um, if all goes to plan, we'll see you bright and early maybe hopefully even before the sun comes up for day two all right time to show what uh what i did today and um a little bit of what the plan is for tomorrow so this is tanahutu trailhead it's where i parked the car and i started up tanahutu creek trail that's all the way through here it's a big meadow then I turned east at this point, and this is about where I started climbing as well, at least climbing more difficultly, <laughs> all the way up to Renegade Campsite, which is this spot here. It was 10.2 uh, miles to get to that spot, and uh, the last three were, were pretty tough. So um, that's day one in the morning. I'm going to try to get a really early start because... I'm going to leave the tree lines very quickly and start heading, climbing all the way up to Partimigan Pass, Patarmigan Pass. So um, this is 4.3 miles and it's all going to be climbing. 
to get to that big point there where we will actually pass over the Continental Divide and start making our way back down to a campsite right up here at North Inlet Falls. That's the plan. And this is the Trails Illustrated map for uh, Rocky Mountain National Park that I'm using. So. Good morning. Welcome to day two. So um, I have everything out of the tent already. It's about a quarter till six in the morning. So pretty early, not quite as early as I wanted, but good. Um, I'm about to make some mama's banana pudding for breakfast. Hopefully that'll be good. Sounds good. While that's getting ready, I'm gonna break down the tent, eat and uh, pack up and hit the road. So hopefully I'll be completely on the trail by 6.30, so it's the plan. Should be a really pretty day today. All right, it's um about a quarter till seven and I'm back on the trail. Just refilled my water at Tonahutu Creek. And um, like I talked about last night, I have 4.3 miles of all climbing to do today. Up uh, through the Partigrin Pass. So, uh, no need to rush. Got plenty of an early start and just gonna grind it out. <laughs> all right. Hey, boy. There's a big old elk right here. So pretty. And uh, I'm on the edge of the tree line. Gonna have to get up there soon. Well, I'm about to start climbing the mountain. There's a nice plaque here to remind me that mountains don't care. There's uh, cliffs, glaciers, steep snow shoots, weather changes quick. Uh, whiteouts are un not unusual, even in summer. And there's my path. Time to get started. All right, well, one mile down, three to go. Um, I did that one pretty quick. It was a lot of climbing, but it's only 7.15, so about 30 minutes. And I've taken me a really nice little spot to take a break and drink some water. I'll let you have a look. And this is where I'm sitting. One mile into my four mile climb. There's no one else up here either. So. My path is going to continue up here and then I believe I'm going to head that way. I love sections like this where the trails just so clearly defined along the kind of meadow. Pretty cool. As you can see, it starts turning right through there, back towards into those mountains. up over the ridge here and uh, I believe that far off in the distance with the snow on it is Hylet Peak um, when you get to the flat top mountain junction if you take that trail and keep going you'll get to Hylet Peak and uh, I climbed that last year coming from the east side of the park 
Bear Lake. Um, won't be crossing it this year because when I get to the flat mountain junction, flat top mountain junction, um, I'll be heading down the North Inlet Trail and start descending down a bunch of switchbacks back into the trees. But uh, still cool to see. Uh, it was definitely fun to climb last year. And uh, I'll give you a little panorama here. Um, somewhere over 12,000 feet. Not a soul in sight. But, um, I've about covered three miles of the four mile climb I've been referencing. And uh, it's been going pretty well. So, knock this dude on out. There's a much closer picture of Hollett Peak and you can see Flat Top Mountain behind it. Pretty obvious where that name came from. And over here to the right, that's Mule Deer. And you can see one, there were a few, so Hollett Peak, Flat Top Mountain behind it, and I'm pretty close to my junction, which will mean I have conquered the climb. <laughs> I'm almost through Heterogen Pass. I think I've said that wrong every single time. I've said it different every single time. Anyway, we're getting on the other side of the divide. And you see oh, some beautiful lakes down there. Trail keeps heading on. All right, I've made it to my trail junction. As you can see. Right there behind me, North Inlet Trail is heading this way through the dual caravans. There's a couple of dual caravans there. Don't know why I feel like I need a talk like that. <laughs> but it might be because I'm happy. Because now I've gone through Partigan Pass and pretty much the entirety of the rest of my trip is, uh, is downhill. Starting with, there's going to be some switchbacks down there. I don't mind going down switchbacks. It's so whatever. It's so whatever. <laughs> I am going to miss the mountains though. I still got them for a while. But, uh, then we'll be back down to the trees. Come across some snow. It's pretty thick too. Um, this is where cairns are pretty cool to have because as you can see, those two right there, you know, um, keep you on the trail. Obviously, this isn't a big deal because I can see where the trail is, but in times when there's a lot of snow, these guideposts really help. And I know I'm slipping deep in this stuff. But it's pretty neat. Pretty cool. Right, I'm going to cut this off. Whoa. This is pretty neat. Um, you can actually see, obviously, here's the trail I'm on, and it wraps around. And you can see the switchbacks 
coming down down into the trees there which is where I'm going to be going so uh, looks like I'm going to wrap around here and then start hitting these switchbacks down into the trees so be heading down into that whole valley there looks like it's going to be good All right, well, I'm officially dropping back down into the trees. And um, I've hiked about eight miles so far today. So I'll probably have about two left to go. And it shouldn't be a very hard trail. Oh, it's a little creek. And uh, oh, it's been pretty. I'm making it just at top too, because the sun started to come out. Man, it is hot in uh, Colorado this year. I know it's July, but dang, it was not this hot as huh, when I was here last year. So, um, I'm gonna get some more water and then head off into the trees. This is a Sterry Pen Ultra Light. UV light for a liter of water. You turn it on and you stir it for uh, about a minute and a half. And uh, it's got a little countdown going on there for me. And at the end of that time, it'll give me a little snolly face that says, uh, Hey, your water's awesome to drink. That's good. Really handy, really quick little deal. I'm gonna finish this and then uh, head on. The hits just keep coming on day two, man. I just ran into the corner and there's the trail. One heck of a view to look up to. All right, it is 12 o'clock noon straight up. And I'm already pretty close to my campsite. I love water features. Let me pop the camera back out. Yeah, I'm deep down into the trees now. Uh, big change from the mountains, but it's still beautiful. So, chug them right along. Uh, less than a mile, maybe? Not far. Alright, see you at camp. Okay, I've edged camp. Um, this is North Inlet Falls. It's about 8.3 miles away from the trailhead. So, see, there's my tent. Camp's like there now. Might be able to hear a waterfall in the background. It's a beautiful waterfall. I'll get down there in a minute. But, my weather says that there's a 60% chance of storms starting at 1 and going to about 3 o'clock. And it is currently 12.54. And you can see the winds blowing there and all. So, I went ahead and pitched my tent real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get everything in there. And uh, just wait it out, I guess. So. so here's the waterfall that's right down from my... Uh, camp not that I'm panning around a little bridge across and that's North Inlet Falls and right up on the top to the right is a really nice little spot for uh, I think that's where I'm gonna come you know for my cooking tonight and dinner with the waterfall right there behind me. All right, back to camp. Swinging in my hammock over by my tent here. There's a view looking up at a mountain. This campsite is pretty cool. It's very relaxing. And I can still, I don't know if it's picking up on the um, video. 
but I can hear the waterfall, which isn't very far away at all. This is a good place. All right, recap time. It's a little windy out here. Um, last night I stayed at a Renegade campsite, which is right below the tree line here. Got an early start, hiked this trail all the way up through here to Partimagan Pass. I think I actually said it right that time. And uh, that's when I started going on a more downhill slope there. Still above tree line for quite a ways, uh, probably about eight miles a day. Above tree miles are just awesome, awesome views. So here's the switchbacks I hit and you hit the trees about this area here. And I continued on to this junction. And I actually took the Lake Nanatee Trail down to North Inlet Falls campsite. So this is where I'll be staying at tonight. Uh, in the morning, we're gonna hop up only about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 miles back to the trail, back to the main trail, and then take it eight miles all the way back to the Tanahutu North Inlet Trailhead. But it's about eight miles, but it's all gonna be a gentle downhill. Should be an easy trail and uh, just plugging along. So that's it. All right, so uh, this is where I'm going to cook and eat dinner tonight. And uh, the waterfall I showed earlier is literally right there. And then you can see the, the little creek the river there kind of flow beside it. So should be a really nice little spot. And I am really hungry. And tonight for dinner. I have a very good meal. I've had it before, and it's probably my favorite rehydrated meal. Barbecue. pasta. It's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner going and eat, and then I'll. Uh, I'll get back up and sell it for camp. Probably gonna crash over today. I am tired. Alright, so I'm gonna crash over today. I am tired. Welcome to day three. This is the last day. We'll be heading out in a little bit. I just woke up. But, uh, as you can hear, there's a bit of inclement weather out there. So, I'm in no rush to get started. It's, a uh, 6.20 or so. So I'm going to lay back down for a little while and uh, let this pass over before I get up and get going. Good morning. Alright. Day 3 is officially underway. Um, it's just after 8 o'clock. I wasn't in any rush this morning but I was still delayed by that uh, pretty good rain that came through. So, uh, I'm passing by that little waterfall again, which is right by my campsite. Hey -o. And um, here really soon, I'll join back up with the North Inlet Trail. That's the main trail. And I'm going to take that eight miles back to the car. So last day. This is a, an amazing course. And after all that rain this morning, it's so bright green. Uh, really beautiful. And very quiet. Very, very quiet. I noticed that that first day coming in too when I was in the woods. You'll hear a bird or a squirrel occasionally, but a lot of times it's really, really quiet. Catch a little more of the North Inlet Trail. We 
can hear the river flowing beside me. I've been following that pretty much this whole time. And, oh wow. Yeah, it's a pretty trail. Very easy the way I'm coming. Um, you can see the trail itself is soft and nice and I'm climbing a little bit right here, but most of it's just been an easy downhill glide. It's been a good morning. Uh, I say that, look at that. They're going to make me climb some steps and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> well, there hasn't been a lot of this. Got the camera back out because I felt like some cool's probably gonna be here. <laughs> well, just trail, but still it's cool. Yeah. I'm getting close to a place called uh, Cascade Falls, and I heard the rush. I saw the turn of the corner. I was like, ah, oh, I better get this camera out of there and we'll turn it into something awesome. But uh, this is cool too. Cascade Falls will be up shortly. more meadows as you get down here into the lower elevation oh geez but uh that's pretty i was kind of hoping to see another moose like day one but i guess that's not in the cards at least not yet all right i'm officially on this little section of the map that's uh 1.2 miles of just walking down kind of a road kind of off the trail now but that's it uh, 1.2 miles back to the car 20 minutes eh, 30 <laughs> I'm moving a little slower at this point um and yeah see you at the car All right, that's a wrap. Um, the Cottonill Divide, Partigan Pass Loop, three days, two nights, 28 and a half miles. Put a ribbon on it. <laughs>